So we talked to our elders a lot, and they told us they saw like Jimi Hendrix here, Ozzy Osbourne. They saw Kiss at the Orange Show, and then you know these events really put San Bernardino on the map. We talk about them. You know, you say you're from San Bernardino, so you understand. And also, we had Route 66, which is a really epic event that we all love and we go check out, and it's gone. So, what's your feeling on these events? Do you have experiences and events like like this in the past? And how do you feel about keeping these going so that we can keep San Bernardino's name on the map? Well, I'm not a rock promoter, but uh, I did have a little experience in putting on a major event for San Bernardino um, uh, when when uh, the current mayor was elected back in 2008, I believe it was. Um, there was a need to get something going downtown. There was downtown was starting to die a little bit, right. and um, so I put together through the Rotary Club of San Bernardino, of which I was president, mm -hmm. a uh, forum called San Bernardino Summit. And it was a day-long forum where uh, business leaders came together with citizens and with planners from outside. There was an Urban Land Institute um, expert that, that flew out to be part of the program and, of course, economist John Husing and all these experts um, to discuss, hey, how can we launch some serious plans for San Bernardino? And if it wasn't for the darn recession that happened uh, within months, um, we had a plan in place that would have really revitalized downtown. Uh, I, I want to see um, places where young people can go, uh, kind of like the European model where you have a yeah. town center mm -hmm. where people come at the end of a day um, and, and gather, people go to stores, uh, people say hello to each other and talk yeah. to each other. And uh, I think this, the current city attorney has been a real problem. He's uh, fought against all these kind of uh, projects. He started off by ending cruising on East Street, uh. which I'm sure you've heard was uh, quite the thing to do a little before my time. <laughs> But uh, certainly within my parents' time and, and uh, people just a few years younger than me, their weekends, every weekend was up and down East Street in their you know, pristine, mm -hmm. uh, preserved, clean cars. And to me, that was such a healthy, yeah. wonderful thing for young people to do. And when we lost that, um, there wasn't anything to replace it. There's no vision. Right, so right, right. Now, of course, um, you know, uh, there's been um, no serious effort to uh, use our downtown mall to revitalize our hotel. There's a lot of opposition from the city attorney and his people on the SBX line, which mm -hmm. is gonna link our Cal State and our uh, Loma Linda right. campuses. Um, why not bring young people downtown? Why not encourage young people? Why be afraid of a rock concert? Exactly. I'm certainly not afraid of a rock concert. I've been a journey for <laughs> I'm sure these bands sound old to you, but uh, they were a lot of fun when I was growing up in San Bernardino. I, I wanna restore San Bernardino to the All-America City where an entire family feels included, an entire family has things to do, and we're proud of our city. We're not afraid to go downtown. We're not afraid to go out and walk in our neighborhoods.